Alright, so this is a response to a video which I believe is called. Let me check the video title. Because I'm not concise when it comes to remembering video titles. Kenzie and Fallacy 101 by a username which I cannot pronounce at the moment because I'm a dumbass. And in it, he describes the problems of Kenzie and economics and how to use the inductive method which isn't suitable for economics rather than the deductive method. And that's always bothered me about economic or financial discussions. Whenever I'm speaking to someone about financial issues, they always speak about it like they were talking about the weather, or saying something about the weather, using statistics and inductive reasoning. That's all for weather and meteorology. Meteorology, since it's hard to predict the weather through proofs, they use that method. And it makes a little bit more sense for that than economics, which is applied to the complexities and possibilities of mankind rather than weather. So whenever I, so whenever I hear, wow, the economy is really bad today. I think, wow, the snowstorm is really bad today, or wow, the, it's really hot today, man. Maybe I should have kept more job opportunities, secured a better job, had a better place in my work, my work and career than to have flip-flopped and got laid off. It reminds me of when I hear something like, Oh, maybe I should have worn a sweater today, or maybe I should have wore some lighter clothes. That's what I picture. I don't picture people actually speaking about economic issues. I picture people speaking about how bad the weather happens to be, and that's why I don't like this inductive method. The deductive method applies more. It makes more sense. We're speaking about human interactions, praxeology. All in all, I gotta say it was a pretty good video. I'm not that big on economics, I'm not gonna lie. I've studied it since I was 12. And I know all the issues and all the problems, but even though it's an easy subject, that's not my forte. I don't know what is.